Hello beautiful Capricorn, welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorn. I'm going to start you off with your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance, and then I will flow into your romantic love life. So I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Thank you to my great grandmother Nyla. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you, ancestors known and unknown. Messages, please, for Capricorn. The Capricorn Collective, please. You'll hear Abracadabra, number 34. I'm going to go to the Queen of the Moon Oracle to get some other energies with this. This is an energy of creation for me. Abracadabra, creation, magic, magician frequency. It's interesting because this energy here, this being, this entity, this it could be your higher self, your ancestors, the universe. The tools are the stars. I just heard the tools are the stars because they see... You know how the magician has a table of um, the sword, the cup, the pentacle, the wand? The tools here are the stars for this being. This is a being, a higher dimensional being that is working with you, watching over you, watching over you. They're over. They're over you. Do you see that? How they're over you, over your reality. They're moving stars, they're shifting them, they're aligning things. Why are they doing that for you? I don't know. It's a connection that you have with them. Yeah, look at this. This is the being, and this is you. Look at the stars that are circling you around you there's something with that i'm gonna get one more there's one more here this is number 28 which is 10 and 15 to 6. abracadabra is 34 to 7. and then you have your 21 which is resilience I see that I want to hold it like this because I'm seeing the, these stars kind of dripping. They're dripping and they're descending and they're falling. Do you see that? They're falling and they hit your aura and they encase you in like this beautiful magic, this beautiful frequency, this beautiful energy. It's like pure light, pure white light, divine light. Look at all the stars that are around you. They're saying the tools for you are the stars right now. I don't know exactly what this means, but this is like star magic. First time I've ever said that. I don't know what that means. It might mean something for you to interpret, to use star magic. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some more answers. But it feels like you're getting some answers. Because as soon as I said that, I just heard meditation brings answers. Something is bringing you an answer. Some, this energy is helping you to bring you peace 
and to bring you answers because I can see here with this energy that you've been carrying something on your back and it's almost like this being here, this energy is helping to relieve you of this heaviness and of these burdens and it's bringing you peace. It's bringing you peace. I, you've tried to create something, Capricorn. Um, you try to create something and you... It's almost like you used tools that hindered you. You used something that didn't go together. Um, you were mixing and doing a lot of different things. Doing so many different things. Using so many different tools. Um, that weren't for you. I feel like you're understanding what your magic is. You're understanding what your true gifts are. Um, like for example, someone might be, you know, really into crystal magic and that's their forte. That's their expertise. You go in there and you're really curious about it and you try to use it, but it doesn't work with you. It doesn't mesh with you, what mesh with your energy. So you like created more harm than good using that energy, using that magic or, um, it's, it's something like that. That's just an example. I'll, I'll continue to unfold this. So they're saying there's something that you need to return to and it's the purity of yourself. It's the purity of self. It's the purity of the stars, star magic. Um, I don't know what that is, but they keep saying it to me, star magic, star magic, star magic. And this, see here, like whatever it is that you were doing didn't work. Now that you are working with this entity, working with this energy, working with the stars as your tools, it's almost like you relief yourself. They help to relief yourself of something that you manifested. You manifested something that you don't want. You manifested something that just isn't working for you. It's, it's causing you more burdens. And it's like you want to get rid of it. You want to release it. And you can. You can. Okay. Um, it is being released. And I see that in that release, something else um, beautifully forms in its place. Beautifully forms in its place. Okay. And it's this energy here that begins to blossom. This is a blossoming energy. And what is blossoming is your inner is your is your star magic. Look at the magic here. Look at all the stars that are around you that are it just works with you. Something works with you and I feel like you're finding what works for you. And that's what that's what this is. Okay? So you're finding what works for you. Because there's something here that really didn't and you manifested something that is just causing you to It's like it feels more heavy. It's like, why did I create that? It's like my intent wasn't to create that. Why is this not working for me? Why is this not working? It's working for other people. Why is this not working for me? That's what I'm getting here for you. This energy, this entity, I just heard them say we're the gatekeeper of this magic. Um, some of you are like connecting with like galactics. Okay, that might be for some of you. Um, okay, these are like higher beings in the stars who live among the stars. I don't know, but they're, they could be really galactic. Okay, so that might resonate with you. Um, some of you could be star seeds, whatever, however your journey is here, okay? They also want you to like embrace your physicality. 
embrace your physicality and embrace your movement of your physical body okay so even though if you're resonating with the galactics and the stars seed energy and all that stuff you they want you to embrace your movement of your physical body okay like don't forget about that because you're here on earth okay there's a purpose for you here um Someone really needed to hear that. Son of Wands and the Phoenix. I love that because it's it's this energy. Okay, something here is coming to life. Something here is coming to life. You are coming to life. Your pure source magic, your star magic is coming to life. However that looks like for you, however that is for you, um, however it works for you, they keep repeating it to me. So I'm sorry I keep saying it. Star magic. It's something pure, something magical, something that works for you, something that is you is coming to life. It's coming to life. The phoenix, right? It's like you're burning this down, you're burning this away, you're burning burning the burdens away. Whatever it is that you created, whatever the heaviness that you created or the feeling that you have created or the thing that you have manifested, however that looks like for you, you're burning it away and something new is blossoming. Look at this energy. I'm seeing the number six. Okay, which is balance. Okay, something was completely out of balance, completely out of sync. Whatever it was that you were doing threw you way off balance, threw you way, way off balance. Yeah, there's, whenever I see this card, all I see is rarity rare something rare black swan rare different unique maybe here the six of swords finding a resolution Look at this. The star fell out. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. I'm telling you, star magic. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Oh, my God. Look at this. The star, the firefly, and the ten of cups. You have here the turtle then the gazelle, then the fool, and then the star, and then the ten of cups, and the firefly. Okay, that's how they came out. I have to put them in order of how they came out. Spirit is very particular. Okay. So the way that I'm seeing this energy is that you are moving back to source. Your source. You're moving back to your pure your pure nature you're moving back to your natural presence your natural presence okay that's what this is you're moving back to your natural presence and your natural presence looks different than everybody else than everybody else Whatever you were doing, okay, that the, the thing that you were doing or working in or working with that wasn't working for you really, really slowed you down on your path. It made you doubt yourself. It made you doubt your gifts. It made you doubt your, just who you were as an individual. Something made you doubt you completely slow down your growth 
slow down your blessings too from coming in here with the rainbow it's so it like delayed thank you spirit it delayed your blessings it delayed the blessings from coming in and blessings are anything that you wish that you have dreamed of gifts talents success slowed it down delayed i'm feeling a lot of the way to approach this shift the way to approach this energy of restoration of rejuvenation is calmness the gazelle there's a lot of fire right now within you it's burning it's forging and what it, it's burning away the burdens the heaviness the things that you have manifested okay so you might be noticing a lot of things in your life leaving leaving out of nowhere quickly people places things jobs whatever it may be it's like why am i losing why am i losing when i have worked so hard to gain it's because it's not for you it's not for you you it's like you had all of the right intentions to manifest these blessings to call in these blessings but you were using the wrong tools it just it didn't work for you so you brought it in it came yes but it there was so much like discombobulation chaos it brought you like more harm than good so you're noticing oh my god why am i experiencing loss so it's almost like you're looking at the things that you are losing but they're saying look at this from the perspective that if you lose you'll only gain something else and you have to trust and have faith that what is coming in is for your highest good is for you and you have here the firefly more of this fire energy the spark that's igniting within you it's like this little light this little star that is within you this star magic that is flickering have you ever seen a, a star flicker in the sky it's really cool that's what i'm seeing here a star flicker in the sky it's like oh i'm coming online i'm coming online and it comes online and it spreads into pure joy and love this is pure unconditional love here with the ten of cups and it like touches everything see here it benefits everything it touches everything in your space in your reality and everything blossoms and springs and just comes to life for you to start something completely new this is a new beginning this is a new beginning star magic you're finding what works for you okay finding what works for you so recognize what isn't working for you okay i feel like some of you guys have already recognized what isn't working for you okay all right so i am going to flow into your romantic love life reading now so what I'm going to do for your love life is we're going to get three oracle cards from three different decks. Okay, so I use the Angel Answers, Romance Angels, and the Wisdom Oracle. We get one card from each. I like how they go together. And then we'll pull some cards, okay? Some tarot. okay let's see so i have this like feeling this is just my intuition um that it's gonna be quite 
similar theme to your spiritual growth message of finding what works for you. Because something around you isn't working for you. Okay? It's only bringing you more harm than good, even though your intention was pure. So let's see. Okay? For Capricorn. For Capricorn. For Capricorn. Look at this, new life. If you just came from your spiritual growth reading, we had the um, action card. I just want to show you. Because it's reminding me of this blossoming energy. Something new is blossoming. This was at the bottom. Okay, the card that came out was to the sea. To the sea. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Something new. Something new. You're not... So what I was talking about in your spiritual growth was that you're recognizing that you're experiencing a lot of losses right now. And you're not sure why. Why? Why are there so many losses in my life right now? Why, why do I feel like I'm losing? Because you're going to the sea you're going somewhere else somewhere that's better for you somewhere new something that works for you it's number seven which is divine direction okay divine direction you're no longer looking back at something it's almost like you look back at something wondering if something or someone was coming with you and you're really disappointed that they're not This beautiful fairy is head is down, sad, disappointed. Capricorn, you have here not the right time. Recovery at the bottom of that. And the romance angels. So I'm feeling a lot of green. Okay, there's a green theme here. See all the green in this car in these two cards? Okay, heart chakra cleansing, opening. You're feeling a lot of pain in your heart space. Um, heartache, heart pain. So something isn't coming with you that you thought you that you thought someone didn't come with you that you thought they would come thought they would show up yeah free yourself free yourself in unrequited love and separation I'm really sorry um, that this is what you are experiencing if this is resonating with you okay Whoever it is that you separated from, whoever it is that you have distanced yourself from, it's unrequited. Okay, there's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. This not the right time is this energy of this new life, okay, that is coming Okay, someone new is coming. I am not feeling this old person coming back. I apologize, but I'm not. I see that you're going to someone new. To someone new. See? Look at you here. The Capricorn energy with the Ace of Pentacles. You're going towards something new. And it's not the right time for it. What is So what is the right time then? The right time right now is healing. The right time is to free yourself. The right time is to take back control over your life. Or is something that took control over you. Or that tried to... Try to lead you astray. Took you off course or took you off balance. 
Now shuffle for Capricorn. So your overall energy is the Eight of Swords, and that's this energy of freeing yourself. Look at the entrapment in both of these cards. Free yourself. At the bottom of the deck, you have here the lovers making a choice to free yourself. Making a heart overhead decision, right? Right, we talked about the heart space. What do you want to do that is right for your heart? Making a heart overhead decision, okay? The Eight of Swords is mental entrapment. I see a lot of overthinking, wondering, waiting. Is someone coming? You're so disappointed that they didn't come with you. They're not meant to. And I'm so sorry that this is what you're experiencing because I can feel your disappointment. I can feel that it's like, it's like I thought that it's like you, you just wanted to do the right thing. You wanted to do the right thing and you thought that they were the right thing. Ace of Cups, new love, right? We talked about new life, okay? What's not the right time? This new love is not the right time. Someone new, it's not yet. It's not no, okay? It's not the right time. It's not yet, okay? Not yet. You're meeting someone new, okay? Five of Swords, Three of Wands, or you're going towards someone new. Maybe you know this person. Some of you might know, might know this new person. Because I can feel their energy here like around you but it's just spirit saying it's not the right time for a relationship it's not the right time for a relationship why because there are still lessons some things still need to be balanced out in your life in this new person's life the fool more new beginnings and you had the fool in the same placement in your spiritual growth reading. The Queen of Pentacles. Someone tried to take over your home or they were taking over your space. If you're the Queen of Wands. I feel like that was the past energy. It's almost like they had, um, whoa, Queen of Swords. Whoa, you have all the queens here. You have all of the queens here. This is power. This is Empress energy. When I see all of the queens, this is Empress energy. You have here the moon and the Ten of Swords. Your intuition knows that something is over. Your intuition knows that something is over. Okay. And I feel like for this group um, that I'm channeling for, this is confirmation. Like, okay, I understand. Because I know. I know. I know that something is over. So this past person or this current person that you were separated um, with, okay, that the connection is unrequited, they had ulterior motives to, to, to the connection, okay? I'm seeing that here with the Five of Swords. They had... Um, I don't know if you lived with them or if they showed up at your house or if they... 
were around you or if they took up your home like when i'm saying took up your home it could be like literally they took over your home or they needed a place to stay for some of you but i'm getting that they took over your home meaning like they took over your your home like your heart they took it over and that's why spirit is like take back control and that's why all of the queens are here because this is power when all the queens show up like this this is about reclaiming your power and reclaiming who you are and your worth you're taking it back someone tried to take something from you they tried to take something over they were very manipulative in this connection and you are here to reclaim that energy back to you you reclaimed it back I'm getting really like warm and like almost like a very, very emotional because you're really disappointed. It's almost like try not to feel disappointed in yourself because I feel like you intuitively knew here that something was off with them but you thought that you were doing the right thing and you thought that they would come with you wherever it was that you were going to the next journey to the next step to furthering the connection you really thought that this person was going to come you really thought that they were going to go with you you really thought that they had all the right intentions the way that you have the right intentions for them you thought it was reciprocated it's like you told yourself it's okay put those feelings to the side those are just doubts it's okay so there's like disappointment in a sense on your end that you feel for yourself that I should have listened. Please, please, please try not to let that take over you because you came from a good place. You tried your best and you gave this person the benefit of the doubt and you came from a place of pure love, okay? This person here was karmic okay with the justice card um this was a lesson for you okay um you are restoring balance by taking your energy back by reclaiming your power you're restoring balance and i see that you're looking forward this is like um this is um seeing into the future seeing into the future okay what are you seeing into the future? You're seeing the new life, the new possibilities of having someone that is for you. And Spirit is saying, it is possible. There is a new beginning. There is new love. It's just not the right time. It's just not yet. Okay, it's not yet, but it is on the way. Okay, why is it not yet? Okay, because this energy is still being released. This is for this group that they are still releasing this unrequited relationship okay even though you guys have been separated a lot of it is in the thoughts it's still in your energetic field it's still in your mind maybe you're wondering if they're going to come back and for this group that i'm picking up on they're not they're not okay they're not ten of swords okay so this is what I have. I hope this resonated. I love you guys so very much. You are powerful and you are worthy of new love, okay? Keep telling yourself that every single day because it's true. I love you guys, okay? Catch you next time.